This one looks scary, but let's just consider the conjugate. This is got seat. All within a rule of the square root of 6 minus x over 6 plus x dx. So, first let's split this up into the square root of the top and the square root of the bottom. So we get the square root of 6 minus x over the square root of 6 plus x dx. And now, we'll multiply top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. So we know the square root of 6 minus x times the square root of 6 minus x is just 6 minus x. And then the denominator, well, this becomes the difference of squares if on the inside of that square root. We get the square root of 36 minus x squared. Now we're going to split this up in two separate integrals, right? And so this becomes the integral of 6 over the square root of 36 minus x squared dx minus the integral of x over the square root of 36 minus x squared dx. You know the first one here is just an arc sine, right? So that 6 is out in front. This becomes the sine inverse of. And then now we know it's x divided by our a, right? Or x divided by 6. Whereas here, this one's a quick use up. If we let u equal 36 minus x squared, then du is negative 2x dx. I have the negative x dx. I just need 2. So half du is x dx. So there's my sub bubble or my subble. So this becomes plus half the integral of that u raised to the negative half du. And so now integrating at 1 to the power divided by the new power. So this becomes u to the half divided by half. But that cancels with the half that's out in the front. So it's just plus u to the half. In other words, plus the square root of 36 minus x squared. And so our full integral would be 6 sine inverse of x over 6 plus that square root of 36 minus x squared. Now that we're done integrating, don't forget the plus c. Always remember, math is everywhere.